it's, it's what the heck what see i what is it seeing? Hey everybody, welcome back to Tesla Driver. So I just wanna say before we get started in today's video that uh, a huge thank you for everybody who watched the first one. I honestly didn't expect so many people to watch it. Over 800 people watched it in like two days, which is insane. I was just doing this for a bit of fun. Uh, so thank you guys so much. And for you guys that commented and liked it as well, a special thank you for you guys. Uh, so I'm actually gonna put this on autopilot now because today's video is gonna be about autopilot day versus night. It's something that I see a lot of in the comments and just people are asking me in general is what is it like at night time i don't know why people seem to think that the car is going to perform really really differently at night so we'll see we'll find out how different is it i can already see we're going to come up to an issue here we've got this white van on the road and i'm going to see what the tesla does here it's a little bit confused on whether it can go forward or not now nah, it's just going to sit behind it yeah it's just going to sit behind it so we'll just go around it there all right well it did come to a full stop though i guess that's quite good uh because some people seem to think that um it won't be able to see at night time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this stretch here. As you can see, it's lovely daytime, loads of light about, uh, perfect kind of conditions for whatever you're gonna do in the daytime, I guess. And then we're gonna come out when it's absolutely pitch black and see what happens again. So I've been able to do this stretch of road once before all the way. Uh, and that was actually on this new uh, AP update that just came out and I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go 50, and then when the speed limits go up and down, we'll stick at whatever the speed limit obviously is, uh, and we'll see how far it is. So the, the trouble that it seems to have with this road is the width of the road. As you can see, the road goes like proper wide here, and it likes to hug this right-hand lane, which isn't like technically a problem, it's not really a, an issue, um, but it's just kind of interesting, and sometimes it does swerve a little bit. I had an issue today, actually, where I was stuck in traffic, and the car just aborted on me, put the hazard lights on, and I was just sat there like, okay, that was kind of out of nowhere, which was really, really weird. So I don't know if you guys have had that. Let me know if you've had anything weird happen since the new update, because I've had a couple of strange things. Uh, so yeah, it's working fine here. As you can see, going into kind of a two-laned 40, so it should slow us down. Yeah, it's nice. And this is kind of the optimal road for it, so that's why I chose this to show you guys it in the daytime versus nighttime. So actually, before we go, leave a comment down below. Do you think it's going to be just as good in the nighttime as it is in the daytime? Uh, and then we'll see. We'll see who's right. Or I'll start a poll actually in the in the top right corner of your screen. Click on there, the little I, and you can uh, join in with the poll. So. The reason I'm gonna say that there's gonna be no difference between daytime and nighttime is that I know obviously we struggle to see at nighttime. Of, of course we do. Our eyes are very, are very you know, good at daytime, not very good at nighttime. But don't forget, this is using cameras and cameras you can change their ISO settings. So if you've ever had a really powerful, expensive, good camera with you and you've got a good lens and you, you bump up the ISO, it's like night vision and you can just see in the dark. That's pretty much, I assume, obviously I can't see it, but I assume that's exactly what these cameras do in the Tesla. Um, and you know that's why that that's why they can see so well at night. But we'll find out, I guess. So we're gonna go up into a dual carriageway now up this hill. But the, the funny thing is the lanes go over there, so it might follow that. Yeah, you see, so it likes to follow that and then it likes to correct itself and do a little swervy worthy, but then <laughs> that lady looked at me then. <laughs> She's just looking now, she turned around and it was like, what the heck was that guy doing? Uh, so yeah, it goes a little bit weird there up the dual carriageway. That's like the moment I said that it would go weird. But so far, it, it's been okay. It's just, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the heck are we going, car? I have no idea. It, I'm, and I'm going 50 as well, so I'm going way under the speed limit. Look at it, it is darting all over the place today. What is happening? I actually have no idea. I had a bird poo on me. I don't know if you can see that up there. I had a bird poo on me the other day, and that led another question that I wanted to know if you guys know the answer to. If a bird poos on the front cameras and you can't wipe it off, like what happens? Does everything go to shit and you literally will crash because a bird has shit on you? I, I, I don't know, will it just abort? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's see what it does here again. So as you see the line kind of disappears. Like, yeah, you see, look at that. The car really, really struggles there and turns itself off, which is weird. It didn't do that earlier. So it used to always do that. And then this update, it, it fixed it, but now it seems to have uh, caused that same issue again. So that's a little bit, a little bit of a strange one. I'm not sure what it's going to do here as well. It's probably going to follow, follow that line there. I've got a car right up behind me as well. And that's really weird that it's, it's followed that line. So I do apologize if this is you. I do sincerely apologize. I didn't just swerve into your lane or anything. Is it going to, no, it's fine with that. And we'll keep on going straight down. 
nice and easy. But you see, look at this, where are we going? Where the heck are we going? Whoa, what? What even, where, why the heck did we just go literally across to here? It didn't even show that there was a lane over here. So that was, uh, that was really strange. It won't do it now because it says that's too wide. Okay, we're back on it now. Man, you know what? This actually shows that the new update really isn't isn't that great. And I'm going 50 as well. I thought this was going to do this without any issues. If I'm being totally honest, I expected this to do this no issues. Because What the heck? Why? What the heck is going on? We're going all the way over onto the other side of the lane now. And just to clarify, that poop actually isn't on the cameras. And I wiped all around the cameras beforehand. So that's really weird that that started to do that now. Um, but that's, I don't know, it's weird. Oh, okay, Jesus Christ, how close do you want to be? What is it? What, I don't know. Today is just a strange driving day, okay? it's It keeps on deciding not to do auto drive. Wow, this has been a really bad drive for it. Now, something I have noticed, actually, is when I first got in the car with the new update, it was fine. And um, obviously, that bird poo was there when I did this video the other day as well, so that hasn't made a difference. But ever since, it's, it's gone all wonky and, and kind of weird. So we're nearly coming to the end of it. So the end of the test is a roundabout coming up in a second. But I think this has been quite an interesting test. And what I'll do is on the way back, I will run it in autopilot the whole way as well. And we'll see if we get any other issues. Because, I don't know, I'm actually kind of nervous. Like, oh, okay, we're braking now. This is like the first time I've been nervous with autopilot as well. Usually down here well as you can see it's a very clear road very clear markings it's a nice wide road but i think sometimes the width doesn't help <laughs> it literally cocks it up so that's it in daytime and we mucked up what four times like that was kind of a bad example because i wanted it to be really smooth but then at least i guess it will show you guys what it's like at nighttime as well heck i don't even know it might even be better at nighttime now it genuinely might be better let's switch nighttime and see the difference here we go then on to the late night so we're on the same road this is where that van was actually parked before and that looks like there's someone going up behind the what the heck i don't know that guy's just parking behind that van there so i had to pull off so this is gonna be the same road at night it's 10 o'clock so it is uh, it is nice and dark and we'll see hopefully it doesn't cock up as much as it did the first time because it actually uh it actually did cock up quite a lot and we're already veering close to the left but we should be okay so i'm going to keep it again at 50 i think it was 50 that i kept at last time i want to apologize if the microphone sounds a bit different and stuff uh, and i don't have one camera angle because uh, my camera actually died oh we're already veering left here whoa 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 okay i don't know what's going on there it keeps on going left so we i think it like it came out like three times earlier oh my god look at it go look at it go left and right i think it came out three times earlier and hopefully we'll do whoa we're on the other side of the road we'll, i'm gonna keep yeah look at that what my god now obviously a lot of people are gonna say it's not meant for this kind of roads but it obviously is because it allows you to do it uh, i know it's best to use on motorways so if you're not kind of happy uh using it off a motorway just don't bother this is just for testing purposes really i'm a little bit worried actually i'm gonna turn the screen down because i don't want it to cock up as we come into like a little 40 all right it's gonna slow down it saw that so it's slowing down to 40 right well not the, not the best start that's that's for sure it's been a little bit wobbly um back there on i don't know if it was wobbly there last time so it's gonna be interesting to see the footage from that before and in between by the way i checked the camera to make sure there was nothing on it and there was absolutely <clears throat> nothing on it both times so that's definitely not the issue and I'm hoping when we get back up to this dual carriageway in a second, it doesn't do that thing where it goes on the right-hand lane and then moves on to the left-hand lane. I really hope it doesn't do that. Uh, but yeah, I know this is uh, pre predominantly used, obviously, for motorways and stuff, of which I've never had an issue, actually, on a motorway. But this is where I find it most fun and most interesting, is using it on these kind of roads to see how it reacts. So we've got this dual carriageway coming up here. And I'm intrigued to know what happens. I have got a car behind me. Oh, good, he's turning off. I just didn't want to do it if this car behind me was um, right behind me because I'll kind of scare other people because it is a little bit a little bit dangerous. We've got a tractor on the other side. Okay, well, let's see what it does. I can't see the lines, just so you know how dark it is. It's followed the right lane. Now it's gone back into the left lane. Okay, so it is doing the same kind of thing. I can't see the lane. I put my full beams on. 
I can I can see the lines okay now, but still not very well. And we'll just see how it follows. I'm really interested to see how it does on the whole double line. Not double line, sorry, like the double thick road up ahead. There isn't a dual carriageway, but it is really thick. We're getting splattered as well. I think we're under attack from some big bugs. Oh my god, going close to that left lane again. I don't know if you can see the wheel. I'm going to turn that screen down as much as I can. So you can maybe see see the inside a bit. Oh, what if I turned on... Oh god. An inside light. I don't know if that makes it any better. But hopefully it does. So then you can see kind of the wheel a little bit inside here. And... This guy's full beaming me. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is where it, the lines go a little bit haywire. It's slowing me down. It is slowing me down. But it seems... Well, I did that really well. I did that way better than before. So maybe at night time. I don't know. Maybe at night time that's what... You know, it's better at night. Okay, that guy's full beaming me as well. What is it with everybody full beaming me today and, and not doing anything about it? All right, so is it going to follow... Yeah, again, it goes... Ooh, a little bit wobbly. Wibbly wobbly. Oh, what was that? It goes tight, you know, to the right-hand side for some reason. And then it starts to... It almost starts to vaguely go left, like it's fallen asleep. Because there's, you know, there's lines on the left as well, or for part of it, that it's just not picking up. So it clearly doesn't think that there are lines over there. It doesn't think that this is one road, which is strange. I would have thought it would have done. But it's actually, see what I mean? Look, veering left, veering left, veering left. It slammed on. And don't worry, there's no one behind us. It slammed on. And, you know, why, why would it slam on there? I wanted to let it go and do whatever it wanted to do. Because that's the only way you're going to test it. And I only, I'll only ever test, just so people know, I'll only ever test when it is safe, when there's, there's literally no one around me in front or behind. Oh, I actually have my full beams on. My bad. And it's... What the heck? What... See, I... What is it seeing? There's literally nothing ahead. Now, this gives me a slight worry about using this thing at night. Because we literally... Look, it is all over the place here. And I have no idea why. This is actually pretty dangerous. And I'm still making sure there's no one around us. What the heck? It's like being on a roller coaster. See, I'd never do this with my fiance and my unborn baby in the car. Never, ever, ever. I know, again, it's not made for this, blah, 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 blah. But it is quite fun. Ah, now, see, it's come off. As soon as I try and correct it a little bit, it comes off. Come on, you've got this. Just get to the rest of it. So I think we can uh, safely say autopilot is not as good at nighttime at all. I mean, it... It didn't work great today, to be totally honest, on these roads. This is a new set of roads that I'm testing it on. So I didn't know how it performed. So it's quite nice to see it perform differently on new roads. All right, we've got a lights coming up. Is it going to see Is it gonna see the road? Yeah, it's still following it. Still following it. That's okay. Um, so it's nice to see how it performs on these roads. But it has not performed well at night. With two full aborts coming up on the dash... Which was quite a, quite a scary one, especially that second one. Yeah, it seems to have done it okay. And I'll just pull it out. Loads of people have asked me as well, what happens when you uh, come to a roundabout and you've got autopilot on? It just does that same thing. It'll like slam on the brakes, kind of go swervy a little bit and just basically freak out. So it's, it's definitely not wise to do. I think that kind of concludes it then that, you know, it is better in the daytime. And again, it's a, not a worrying thing, but I question how good it's going to get at night time. You know, it has to be as good at night time as it is in daytime. What we'll do is a little bit of a bonus then, because obviously I'm driving home. I'm going to put it back into autopilot as soon as it lets me. It keeps on picking its time when it will do. And what we'll do is stop full beaming me, dude. There we go. What, why is everybody... Well, look at that. We're, we're literally veering off left and right here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to slow down to 40, uh, which isn't dangerous. 60 is, a, is, 60 is a, what do they say, a target... No, <laughs> it's a limit, not a target, or whatever kind of stuff they told you when you took your lessons, all that dribble. And uh, let's see at 40. So we're going slower. In theory, it should have more time to see the lines. I'm going to full beam it just so, again, it's even brighter. Again, does that make it better or worse, the fact that it's brighter? Have I changed its ISO, ISO settings, or does it need more light, less light? I, I don't know. I'd love to know what happens when you turn your lights off, but obviously I'm not going to do that. That is insanely dangerous. 
we don't want to break the law. Um, okay. Well, I, I would, to be honest, at 40, I would be amazed if it did anything weird. That being said, we are slightly swerving, just kind of left and right, just happily, on this massive, open, wide road with lovely white lines down the middle. You would have thought this would have been like a really nice, leisurely drive. Yeah, you could easily fit a dual carriageway down here. But will the car work all the way? So it it failed last time at every corner. So it's pretty good that it's it's done it's done this corner quite well. Uh, I have got a car coming up behind me though, so I'm just well I don't, I don't need to do anything, do I? I'm just going to keep on going the speed. Um, it is doing fairly well. I'm a little bit worried that if that car comes to overtake or anything, that we are going to be swerving into his lane or anything like that. To be honest, I think they might think I'm a police car because I've got a, a GoPro on the back and it is flashing red. <laughs> so maybe they think it's uh, it's a police car and they don't want to overtake. You know what? I think we can call it a day on autopilot at night. It clearly is having an issue. So uh, comment down below what you think about it. Did you expect these kind of results? Have you guys seen different results if you're a Tesla owner? Uh, and also comment any other video ideas you want me to do. I've just thought, actually, a Tesla police car would be absolutely insane. That'd be really cool. Uh, but let me know anything you want me to do as well down below. I'm actually going on a road trip soon to Germany. Uh, I've got a job with some pretty big companies down there. Uh, and I think I've decided to drive down there in my Tesla. Or I'm going to speak to Tesla Heathrow and see if uh, maybe we can get a 100D or P100D for the trip. Would be quite interesting. And let me know if you want to see that as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.